Welcome back to our Bible reading plan. We're reading through the Gospel of Mark and we've got to chapter 11. And chapter 11 is fabulous. If my non-Christian friends read chapter 11, um, they would be left unable to avoid the question of who is Jesus? What is Jesus like? And is he truly God? Because this is a a roller coaster of a chapter, uh, not only a roller coaster which kind of throws you up and down, but also somehow a sort of intentional roller coaster because it takes you somewhere. It's in three sections. The first section looks at Jesus coming into Jerusalem as king, and yet riding on a colt, on a on a baby horse, on a baby donkey, um, which was a low status animal. So he's king but he's not the kind of king that people expect. Then it goes on to a second section where we see Jesus at his most, um, in a kind of activist mode, in judgment mode. He sees a, a tree that isn't bearing fruit, although it's not even the season for fruit, and he condemns this tree because it's not being fruitful. Then he goes into the temple and he sees that people are using the temple to line their own pockets instead of facilitate worship. And so he clears the temple. Um, these are challenging uh, episodes from Jesus' life and they make us question who he is. I think it's interesting that Mark puts them together side by side and then is followed by a third section where people are coming to Jesus and saying, by what authority are you doing this? Who made you king? Who made you someone who is willing to cast judgment on how the temple is being used? And of course, by the time we get to the end of this chapter, we're left with these burning questions. Who is Jesus? What kind of a, a being is Jesus? And as Jesus, who is God, what kind of God is he? I mean, he's the only God, that's a given. But who is God? What is God like? God is not a God that puts himself on a pedestal. He's a God that demands authentic worship and fruitfulness that comes from our life of faith. And if I were to just pick one section um, to remember, it's good to remember scripture um, from this, I would remember Jesus's words and he says this, have faith in God. It's Mark chapter 11 and verse 22. Have faith in God. Because if we read this chapter with our imagination switched on, imagining those people, what do they see? What do they hear? What do they feel? What do they think? If you read this chapter with your imagination switched on in that way, you're left having to ask and answer these questions. And if you haven't yet come to the point of recognizing Jesus as God himself, then this chapter is going to encourage you to do that. And if you have already um, recognized Jesus as God, then we need to ask ourselves those questions. God, am I fruitful in this season? Am I worshiping authentically? Am I bringing my whole self, my being to your temple? when I come into your presence, whether that's on a Sunday or with a small group um, or just in the quietness of your home this morning. So let's pray, shall we? God, thank you for Jesus's example, not jostling for position and wanting only to see authentic worship and fruitfulness. And so as we ask ourselves by what authority he does these things, we recognize you, God the Father, we recognize you, Holy Spirit, and we say, you are God, and we have faith in you. Amen. Have a great day.